Module 4, Muscle Fitness for Students. Muscle fitness is an essential component of overall physical well-being, particularly for students engaged in various activities. To understand if a student's favorite activity requires muscle fitness and whether they possess adequate muscle fitness, we must delve into the concept of muscle fitness itself. Muscle fitness, as outlined and comprises three crucial elements, strength, muscular endurance, and power. Let's explore these components in the context of student activity. Imagine a student who loves playing basketball. The action of shooting a ball towards the hoop isn't just a matter of aim. It's also about the strength in the arms. Strength in the realm of muscle fitness is not about how bulky one looks or how many weight plates one can stack on the barbell. It's about the might a muscle or a group of muscles can muster. This force is crucial in almost every physical activity, from lifting books to playing sports. However, strength isn't just about peak performance in sports. It's also about daily life. Think of a student carrying a backpack full of textbooks. The ability to do this day in and day out without strain is a testament to muscular strength. So, when we consider if a student's favorite activity requires muscle fitness, we're essentially asking, does the activity demand the muscles to exert significant force? If the answer is yes, strength is a key player. Muscular endurance is often overshadowed by its more glamorous counterpart, strength, but it's equally important. It's the stamina of your muscles. Picture a student participating in a dance marathon. It's not just about how powerfully they can move, but how long their muscles can sustain that activity. This endurance is vital in activities that require prolonged muscle effort. It's the difference between a sprint and a marathon, between lifting a heavy object once and carrying a moderately heavy backpack throughout the school day. Endurance is what keeps a student going, turning a quick burst of activity into a sustained effort. Power in muscle fitness is akin to the grand finale of a fireworks display. It's the combination of strength and speed. Think of a student playing volleyball. The power is in the explosive jump and spike. Power is dynamic and is especially crucial in activities that require bursts of high-intensity effort. But power isn't just for athletes. It's for any student who needs that quick burst of energy, perhaps to dash across the campus when they're late for class or leap over a puddle on a rainy day. It's about how swiftly and forcefully the muscles can react to a demand. Now, considering these aspects of muscle fitness, how do we assess if a student has enough muscle fitness for their favorite activity? It's not just about the ability to perform the activity, but to do it effectively and without undue fatigue. If a student loves basketball, but finds their arms tiring quickly, their muscle fitness, particularly strength and endurance, might need. Similarly, a student enthusiastic about track events but struggling with sprints may need to work on their muscular power. It's about finding the right balance between these three elements of muscle fitness to not only enjoy, but excel in their chosen activities. Imagine muscle fitness as a trio in a band. Strength is the steady rhythm, endurance the continuous melody, and power the dramatic solos. They work in harmony to create a perfect performance, just as they do in our bodies to facilitate efficient movement and activity. No, and ha have you ever thought about what keeps you standing upright, enables you to twist to snag that bag of chips off the top shelf, or lets you bend to tie your shoes without toppling over? Yes, it's your core muscles, the unsung heroes of everyday movements. First off, what is core fitness? It's not just about having a beach-ready six-pack. Core fitness is about the strength and flexibility of a group of muscles that encase your torso like a natural corset. These muscles include the abdominals, lower back, obliques, and the glutes. They're the central link in a chain connecting your upper and lower body, crucial for balance and stability. Whether you're playing sports, doing chores, or simply standing still, these muscles are tirelessly at work. Now the million dollar question, do you have core fitness? Let's do a quick reality check. Do you find yourself slouching after a few minutes at your desk? Do you often complain about lower back pain? If you've nodded along, your core might be sending a not so subtle SOS. But worry not, awareness is the first step towards improvement. Understanding why these muscles are important for good health and functioning 
is like realizing why your car needs a good suspension system. With a strong core, you're less likely to suffer from lower back pain, a common modern-day ailment. It's also about posture. No, not just the kind your grandma nags you about, but the kind that keeps your spine happy and reduces wear and tear on your body. A strong core also minimizes the risk of muscle injuries. Imagine your core as the central cog in a large machine. If it's weak, the whole system faces a strain. So how do you boost your core fitness? Picture this. You're not going to transform into a core fitness guru overnight by doing a hundred crunches. It's about a holistic approach. Think beyond crunches. There are planks, bridges, pilates, and even some yoga poses that can help strengthen your core. Remember, it's not about quantity but quality. You're better off with 10 well-done planks than 50 sloppy ones. Now let's get a bit philosophical. Core fitness is not just a physical state. It's a mindset. It's about understanding and respecting your body's center of gravity and strength. When you have a strong core, you move with more confidence and grace. You're less like a wobbly Jenga tower and more like a sturdy oak tree. Moreover, developing core strength isn't just for athletes or fitness enthusiasts. It's for everyone. Whether you're a teenager, a busy parent, or even a grandparent, a strong core makes everyday tasks easier and keeps you agile as you age. It's like the secret ingredient in your wellness recipe. Not always visible, but its effects are undeniable. Sport in school subjects. Sport education, a multifaceted and dynamic field, thrives on its ability to intertwine with various school subjects, creating a holistic learning environment. Let's kick off with mathematics. At first glance, sports and math might seem like distant cousins at a family reunion. Familiar, but not exactly chummy. However, upon closer inspection, it's clear they're more like siblings. In sports, mathematics is everywhere, from calculating batting averages in baseball to understanding the geometry behind the perfect soccer goal, math is an indispensable player. Incorporating mathematical concepts into physical education can turn a mundane math class into an exciting field day. Imagine students measuring their long jump distances and then using those measurements to understand mean, median, and mode. Suddenly, math becomes more than just numbers on a page. It becomes a physical, tangible experience. Moving on to social studies, the relationship with sport is as evident as a referee's whistle at a silent soccer match. Sports are a reflection of society, embodying cultural values, historical contexts, and social dynamics. Sports can be a gateway to understanding societal structures and historical events. For instance, think about the Olympics. This global event is not just a showcase of physical prowess, it's a melting pot of cultures, a living lesson in world geography, and a historical timeline of political relations among nations. By studying the Olympics in a social studies class, students can explore the impact of global events on national pride and international relations, turning history lessons into a vibrant tapestry of stories and real-life drama. Now let's dribble into the realm of language arts. The connection here might not be as straightforward as a basketball free throw, but it's certainly as impactful. Language arts and sports converge in the narrative. Sports stories are a goldmine for exploring themes, character development, and plot structures. The triumphs and tribulations of athletes serve as compelling narratives for students to analyze and learn from. Sports literature can enhance language skills from reading comprehension to creative writing. Picture a classroom where students are engrossed in a book about a legendary athlete, dissecting the plot and empathizing with the characters. Or imagine students writing their own sports-themed stories, using metaphors and similes as skillfully as a golfer uses clubs. The beauty of integrating sports into these academic subjects lies in its ability to engage students who might not be traditionally academic. It's like sneaking vegetables into a smoothie. The nutrients are there, but they're so well blended with the delicious fruits of sport that students hardly notice they're learning complex concepts. By connecting physical education with mathematics, social studies, and language arts, learning becomes more relevant, practical, and, dare I say, fun.